Hey, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how I tie my, my two flies. There's many different variations that you can tie. You can tie like this. And there's also this variation that I tie. But today we're going to be going over this style of two flies. And I'm going to be tying them in chartreuse and red. First off, you will make sure that you get yourself one of this two fly gig right here. Usually comes in a kit like this. This piece goes around to your vise, and then you have a tube holder. They have a lot of different kits out there, such as this. This is what I use: HMH Precision Fly Tying Gear Tube Gear. Usually comes with uh, tubes, a conjunction tube, and I'll show you what those are for in a little bit. You want to make sure that you use a very sharp blade. Any type of razor blade will work. These are for shaving to cut your tube. If you use a scissor, it's going to crimp the tube and it's not going to be a good tube to use anymore. So basically you put your, your tube jig on onto your regular flying vise. You loosen this little knob, pull out the tube holder, which is just a rigid wire. Go ahead and put your tube through. Just like so. I'll put it on the jig. Let's open it up a little bit more. Make sure that tube is uh, resting on that, on at least uh, the gig right here. And then just tighten. What happens is when you tighten, this little piece here is pulling the rod down. And it's preventing the tube from moving around. Make sure it's on the tight that it's not going to move. Now you're ready to tie. So the thread I like to use is somebody denier utc or danville they have a lot of variety of colors i also like using simplify nano silk which is a very 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 thin thread but it's also a very very strong thread let's go over some materials first i have really nice bucktails right here you want the real nice supple bucktails i got red and chartreuse right here i also have my crystal flash i'll be using silver today and also i'll be using uv resin with my UV light. Just want to start wrapping just behind the front. I usually like to leave about a quarter inch behind. And this tube is about one inch long. And it's perfect size for the, the type of flies that I tie. And you can make it longer or shorter. It all depends on your preference. So now you have your head started. And basically just start adding colors. I usually like to cut it all the way down the bottom, so it doesn't you don't leave any mess. A lot of people they they just like taking from the top, but then you have all these on the bottom that's already cut and it, it kind of gets in the way. So I just like cut it from the bottom, and then trimming up if I need to. This fly I like to be right around uh, double double the length of the of the tube, so I'm gonna go at least about two two and a quarter inches or so. And from here, this is where I'll trim the bottom off. And then now you're going to take your piece, just place it right on top. Just going to push down. It's going to take some thread. Just a couple loose wraps around the top, just like that. And now once you get a couple loops, now you can kind of cinch it down. And then put a couple wraps. So now it's on there tight. Give it a test pull, make sure it doesn't pull out. It looks pretty good. I'm just going to turn it over. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the red. Cut down below. Make sure they're even. Measure towards my other bucktail that I just put on. And now I trim it. From here, I'm just going to put it right directly across from the other side that I put on, a couple of loose wraps. See, right now it's very loose. And now I can just cinch it down, just pull it tight, and then finish off with the wrap. You don't have to really fully form the head yet, but that just to hold it on. And now I'm just gonna flip it over again. Now I'm going to take my silver flash. I'm going to take two long strands. 
Just going to fold it in half so it's even. Take my scissors. Now I got four strands. And I'm just going to measure the bucktail. And I want it to be right around equal length. He could go a little longer if you wanted to. Now just place it onto the side. Give it a couple wraps. And I'll just fold, fold it over. And using your left hand, your left arm, you're just going to be holding it as you do a couple wraps just to get it on the on the tight. And from here, just go ahead and trim the flash. And I'll just turn it to the other side. Okay, so now you have four nice strands. Again, just measure. Give it a quick measure. A couple of turns. Turn the flash over. And I'll just finish wrapping it up. I'll just turn to the other side. Make sure you put a nice good wrap around to make the head. And now you just whip finish. You can either use this tool, but I'm not gonna use that tool. I'm just gonna use my hands right here. Two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. I usually go about seven times. Boom, right there it's done. Snip. Let's go back on this side. Just gonna measure my flash. It looks pretty good. Just give it a little trim. Always make sure you do your test pull. Make sure that nothing comes out. And now we're ready for eyes already. I'll be using these gold eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my UV resin. Dab it on both sides real quick. Go ahead and grab my eyes. And I'm just gonna place the eyes right on, just like so. This is a thicker UV, so that's why I can put the eyes on without it sliding off. And I'll just take my light. Do a quick here on it. This is a thicker UV, so I do have to put the light on a little longer. And then with my flashlight, I just kind of tap the eyes, make sure that it's on there. It's not moving, so if it's not fully cured, once you hit it, the eye is going to fall right off. But I'm just tapping in, so now I know it's good. And now I'll just take the rest of my UV and just build a hood. It's a lot easier using these thicker UV. Just go around. This is the, the great part about having a rotary vise. I'm going to twist it around. And I'll just hit it with the UV light. Right now it's solid enough. It's still, it's still going to be real tacky. But... I'm just going to throw it right into my little oven over here, my UV light, and it will be good to go. I just want to show you my little contraption right here. I just took a little piece of uh, wire or needle, stuck it into a piece of styrofoam, so I can put it right in here, and then right into the oven it goes. I like to cure it for at least one minute, and then I'll take it out. It should not be tacky anymore. If it's still tacky, that means that the resin has not dried yet. So I just put it in for another minute. Once it's ready, it should be hard. It should not be tacky. And then you're ready for the next step. Alright, once it's done being cured, I'm just going to touch the UV resin. It's real dry. It's not wet. It's not tacky. I'm just going to take it out of my contraption right here. Before I do anything else, I'll be adding in the conjunction tube. And I'll show you what the conjunction tube is for in a little bit here. I'm just going to take the same rod that I use. I'm just going to stick it back in. And this is the conjunction tube right here, which is just a plastic tubing. Move the hair out of the way. Put it on. This I found this to be the easiest way to put the conjunction tube onto your rigid tubing. Just using your thumb, just kind of press. And just kind of press down and give it a couple of twists. Right there. See now the tube is on. Now I'm going to just take my fly off. 
And for the construction tube, you don't need much. You only need probably about a quarter inch. And from here, just cut off a little bit right there. So that end piece is done. Now I'm just going to take my lighter. And I'm just going to heat up the, the front. And that is going to create a little nice tubing. Just like that. And now this fly is complete. It is ready to, to be thrown on the line. Ready for your hooks. And ready to go catch some fish. For the hooks, this is what I love using. I love using the Gamagatsu B10S Stinger Hook. It's also the same hook that I use for my Slayer series. These are super, super sharp hooks. And very strong hooks. And I find this to be the perfect hook size. I'm using a size 4. This part I'm just going to show you the, the main purpose of the conjunction tube. So pretend this is my fly. When you pull your line through. This is why you also want to use a straight eye hook. So the eye is straight. I'm just going to pull it through. And then your hook is just going to sit right into the conjunction tube. And that's going to prevent it from moving around. And you can position this hook up or down. Doesn't matter. And then when a fish bites. Your fly will most likely pop off and be away from the mouth and a hook will be in the fish's mouth. And this will also make the fly last a lot longer, especially if you're fishing for walleyes or pikes. And the fly will be out of the way. But now let me show you if you don't have the conjunction tube. You put the line through the same way. And as you can see, there's no one, nothing to hold the hook and that will actually lessen your chance of a hookup. So when you do this for the fly, same thing, you want to put your line through, just going to find a tube, put it through, pull it all the way through, just pull it tight so now your hook is in there. Like so. Just like that. And now your fly is ready to be used. If you guys want to learn more about how to fish these, make sure you make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you like and comment. That way so when I release the video of how to fish these, you guys will see how I fish them. I do have a current video right now that that just, just kind of shows it. But on my next video, it's gonna be more detailed on how to use these tube flies. So, catch you guys on the next video. As always, follow your dreams, follow your passions, make it happen.